It's amazing. I mean, you know, it's always so much fun to just have the fans really experience it for the first time and see it for the first time before anybody else. And there's just so much love in the room and so much energy. I love what I do. I love my character. Uh, Sam Wilson is somebody who I've been able to look up to for a long time and now being able to play him and be an inspiration for a younger generation of um, young men and women is uh, something that I've always wanted to do in my career. We were able to sing a part of an amazing song that's a part of the show I'm representing, Agatha All Along, and um, it was so amazing to be able to perform with the cast all together. We haven't seen each other all in a long time, and it really did feel like magic up there. It was so fun. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I really do think that it surprised them when we took our like took our hoods off that they thought that it was actually all of us which was like oh my god so it was uh i don't know it felt very witchy it's so different from you <laughs> it was fantastic it was yes it was fantastic there were eighteen thousand people screaming and there was so much smoke we couldn't see <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking when you are going onto that vast yeah. space but it was exciting and we sang the song well see? We just sang <laughs> our witch's chant <laughs> from the show Agatha All Along. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it, they saw anything else like this at D23. I mean, listen, we were harmonizing live. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was a little perilous at moments. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke. They saw a lot of smoke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the energy was electric. They were like so excited. Everyone's like just dying to see more content, so I'm, I'm glad we were able to yeah, get it. Yeah, it's a warm crowd, easy yeah. crowd. <laughs> I think that the show is not what people are going to expect it to be. I think that people have a idea of it in their heads, but it's, it's nothing like what people think, which is exciting and great. Oh my goodness. Well, one, to be able to come back to D23, we'll start there. The energy in this hall, in this arena, in this stadium is, well, it's bigger than ever before. And it's amazing to have been able to sing We're Back, which is our first song from Moana 2. To be able to sing it in that environment, truly, I've only ever sung it in a recording booth with maybe 10 people. This was so much better. And then to come back to Moana, Moana is a character that is so close to my heart. It is not taken for granted that we have a sequel. That feels incredible, and I can't wait for fans to see it. Yes, Tiana Liu Fo and Nono Sina is such a beautiful dance troupe, and we got to see all kinds of different Polynesian dance tonight, from Samoa to Hawaii, and it was, I, my little heart is so proud to be able to see this on such a big stage and know that also Moana has been making waves and Moana too will continue that wave of, of learning about voyaging and wayfinding and learning more about the Pacific culture. We are so grateful and we are also so special so I'm glad that people are learning about us. That was awesome being out there. The energy of that crowd was great and um, here's the thing that hit me as I went out there like right as I stepped on stage is I've had the, I've had the privilege of wrestling in this arena uh, many, many times. Uh, this place has been rocking and it has been nuts. Um, that was a different and unique energy uh, and just as crazy, just as nuts, but um, Disney-fied, which was really cool. Uh, and I, I, I loved it. Probably what makes, for me personally, what makes Maui uh, the most fun to play is um, just how people have reacted to Maui over the years. And I have to tell you, there is not a place I go. The number one thing I am always asked about anything that I've done, whether it be in film or wrestling or anything, anything, it is always, oh my God, could you sing You're Welcome? Monster Jam is, uh, is a live action event, it's gonna be a live action film uh, based on the really iconic monster trucks that are out. You can, you can feel people love movies, they love Disney, and that's, um, that's part of us wanting to come along. You heard the, the wave of, of you know, response when I said, we got any Avatar fans here at all? You know, uh, you go yeah. on a limb when you do that, but I think the response <laughs> was a good one. I would say biggest privilege of my career you know, to know that people care about this story that was just, you know, an idea at some point, and then I share it with my team, and then we turn it into something. 
and then we, you know, get these ama this amazing cast to bring these characters to life. And I think they have a reality now. I mean, Sam is Sam, and Jake is Jake, and Jake has a life now, you know, and we keep feeding into that, that life and that story, and, you know, that story will go on. It'll go on beyond us, yeah, sure. you know. And that's a, a kind of an amazing feeling. And you see it, you see it there. I mean, look, they're here for all the Disney things that they, they love, obviously. But you could tell that there were some Avatar fans out there. And it's a, it's a privilege. It's truly a privilege to create something that resonates with millions of people. It's always fun to come back here and and, uh, and feel like, you know, be a part of the Disney family, uh, bringing just wonderful projects like Avatar and this new original film by Pixar called Elio, and I just cannot wait for all these wonderful projects to come out. <laughs> My sons are here, so it's their first D23 event, and they're, um, so I'm just, I'm just stoked because it's giving me massive cool mom points. Tron Aries, the third installment of the Tron Legacy, which I can't believe we started back in 1982, over 40 years ago. We got nine-inch nails on the music on this one. The fans will be as excited as I am to see a bit of the film. I mean, it's like I've never been to D23 before, and this is completely unreal. Like, no one told me there would be so many people here. It's crazy. I mean, we just wrapped our film just a few months ago. Our incredible director, Yoko Moroning, is editing right now. Um, and to give this sneak peek is really special for us because we get to see a sneak peek too and it really reflects our hopes and dreams for what we think the movie is going to be and I think it's going to be amazing. I mean it's all about the fans especially for something like Tron. I mean this franchise has been around for 40 years and it is something special to be part of something that has it feels historic um, and to make it like a community event it just it does feel really good. You know, the, the Tron series of films has a real high bar when it comes to composers and score and music. So um, when it was offered, we were excited and we're up for uh, blowing everybody's minds in the process. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty hyped up crowd. We're talking about a very specific set of fans, so they're probably the hardcore fans. Um, they seemed really excited, right? I mean, there's, the ground is shaking a little bit. You feel the stage. Yeah. to be there with them and to see their reaction, feel their reaction was pretty incredible. The, the fans in, in, in that room, you know, the excitement was palpable and, and you know, it was our first look, you know, at, at, at the show as well. And you could, you, you know, it, it, it looked really great. <laughs> you know, everybody looked really great. And that's, uh, that, that, that feels great. And you could feel that, you could feel that. And this, uh, this whole event, this whole day, has been, been pretty special, pretty extraordinary. I mean, it's been under wraps for so long, so it's really exciting to get to share any kind of look with an audience that cares so much. It's been really, really amazing. It's incredible, like Rachel said, I can't wait for everybody to see the movie. It's classic and beautiful and, and inventive. It's just magical. Yeah, as a diehard Disney fan myself, who I feel like I see every release and opening weekend, it's like getting to show it to your best friends in a way that you're just like, can't, you won't believe what we did. And so it's been really, really amazing to get to hear their live reactions to. It's just such an instant gratification that what we made is cared about so much. And that's a really wonderful thing. I'm always grateful and I have to pinch myself to, for the love and the, the, the appreciation and the respect that we get from our incredible audience. Um, so, yes, I'm very, very lucky, grateful, and privileged for all this love. This is the film. first time at D23. And Thrilling. this is my first time at D23 altogether, yeah. Really, really, so really fun. fun. It makes it even that much more special because when you're making the movie and then you come and bring just even just a snippet of the idea that we're making it and we have all the fans' reaction, that's who we're making it for. So it makes the movie that much more special. It was incredible. It was, <laughs> it was incredible. 
was incredible and what's so just great. so beautiful and just to see the reaction is so exciting. It was, it was exactly what we hoped it would be. Yeah. It was my it was rock great. star moment. I'm, I'm, <laughs> ne I'm not. I can't sing, but and I've never walked out onto a, a, a stadium filled with people <laughs> about something I'm doing, and that was just that was the moment. So it was so special. I'm very high from the whole thing. <laughs> uh, we showed the audience the uh, the first official trailer for Mufasa the Lion King. <laughs> and what was their reaction? Uh, the reaction was insane. I mean, it's like I'm not a rock star. I make movies, so I'm not used to stepping onto a stage and there's a stadium full of people. Uh, it was pretty wild, um, but it was really wonderful, too. I think The Lion King is larger than life, and that projection was very much larger than life. You know, you, you don't... They told us what this would be, and I still didn't have a really solid idea of what it would be, and you walk out, and um, I don't know, the way people greeted Labo, who sang before we came out, was just like really humbling you know it kind of fills you with awe to be honest it was awesome the audience is so excited <laughs> they are so activated and amped um, to have the trailer big and beautiful like that and, and get a real-time feeling uh, from the audience it's similar to, to theater we get that real-time feeling you don't usually get that in film so it was a beautiful thing to to experience with that huge audience I don't know how many people are, I didn't know how big that stage was or how big the theater was and that was mind-blowing to see walking out there and in unison people screaming and yelling for this movie it's it's pretty amazing it was amazing I mean first and foremost it's a, a, an enormous privilege to be at D23 the fans and the supporters of the work here, they know exactly what they're looking for, they know exactly what they're looking to feel, they know when it feels right. So I think that moment that we had just there, where they saw the trailer and then they, they, they roared collectively, no pun intended, but they roared together. I think for us, we're all just on a high right now. We're on a high, we're like, okay, it was all for a reason, it was all for a purpose. They felt what we were hoping they would feel. So we're just all really bubbling right now and, and, and deeply grateful. That's the, that's the king, you know, King Labo M. So, I mean, you know, we're deeply grateful to have him part of this journey. You know, he's, he's always been part of the Lion King. He's always been the heart of the Lion King. So to have him and the great Lin-Manuel Miranda and, in my opinion, our greatest filmmaker, Barry Jenkins, all come together and produce this picture, you know, I, I'm, I'm deeply grateful to be here. Blessing, you know. Well, they experienced an amazing movie that's coming out, I think, December 20th. Um, they're in for a treat, really. It's an amazing, amazing piece. Yeah, everyone got to hear the song, the trailer. It was so cool. It was, we've been working on it for so long, so it's so rewarding to finally like see everything play out and hear the song, and I'm so excited to hear everyone's reviews and reactions on it. I've never had such a, um, how do I say this? I've never had such an uplifting audience, really. They were all just... Such, such a big crowd of people, really, to perform in front of, and they just make it feel easy, really. I was overwhelmed. You know what was the coolest part was seeing, like, the kids who play young Scar and young Mufasa, like, taking it all in, and it's like, I remember being that age, and when I first saw The Lion King, and I could only imagine what it's like for them to be a part of The Lion King. It means so much to all of us. So that was like, I was kind of channeling them, and, and we were all little kid dudes, you know what I mean? living our dream for that for a moment so this is really that's one for the books it's so fun i love being with seth i think that's why it works we get to record together yes which an animated we improvise movies. together play it's pretty rare other. yeah um and it's so fun we get to be this little like comedy duo in the midst of this kind of serious intense movie yeah we brought iron heart yeah and it was a you know bought, a, bought an exclusive clip for everybody to check out um, brought the cash, you know, and, and super, super excited about everybody seeing that work. We've been working on it for for a good amount of time, and and um, it was a, it was an incredible shoot, and, and you know, just looking at looking at the dailies, we knew it was gonna be special. You know, the, the filmmakers put put they all into it. You know, great great writer Shanaka Hodge, um, Zoe uh, and, and Kelsey really brought it. You know, from from, from Marvel, and you know, we just had, had an exciting time making it. So I'm excited, man. And we got. You know, finally got to share with the with the home team here at D23. I mean, it's just it's it's a lot of people, but you can tell they all that they all care. You know, they care about about this stuff. You know, um, so, so it's 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 it's, it's definitely um, uh, 
the elevated energy, but it's but it, but it's so much warmth there. You know, it's so much there's so much trust in us. You know, um, with these characters that people love, and, and um, you can feel the anticipation. You know, everybody wants it to be great. You know, so I mean, it's it's, it's an experience like none other. Uh, they showed a clip of uh, our show Ironheart, and it was you know amazing to actually see the. So often you don't get to actually see the fans and feel the excitement in the room of something when you're working in film and television. So the excitement, the screams, the getting the, just a little glimpse of this world is really cool. We are excited. This is an like, incredible universe to be a part of. So like, I feel like we are just as giddy as them on this side. It was a great, great ride. It really, really was. And I think any of the fun that I was able to have was a product of working with folks who were equally as invested and having fun with me, you know, and just going on a journey and seeing what this could be. Everybody brought something so incredible to that table, him included. So this was a fun one for sure. You know, Dominique is, uh, she's, I think, she's, her performance is so dynamic, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful, it's colorful, she, she created uh, something really amazing with, with, with this character, so uh, I'm really excited for, for, for all of us. There is nothing like this, yeah, it's, it's so special, you know, to interact with the fans and, and get to feel this energy. It's, it's a reminder of like who's out there waiting for, for these stories to come out, you know, and, and important for, for me as an actor, you know, to experience these and go back to the set and tell everyone, hey, listen, they care, <laughs> you know, they care about what we're doing. Uh, there's a point on, on all of this, you know. It's, I mean, it's been two years and a half of work, you know, for this second season and last also. Uh, and I've been playing this role for 10 years now. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a long time. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of what we've made. I'm very proud of the story. I'm very proud of, to be part of this family. You know? uh, I, I, I work with people I admire and I, I respect and I've learned so much from. So I'm very lucky. Yeah. I mean, this has been bananas. I mean, I've A, never been in front of 12,000 people before in my life, so that was a bit intense in a good way because these are my people. I am a Disney super fan, and if I were not on stage, I would have wanted to be in that audience. So this has been such a celebration for me to get to share anything about Zootopia 2, but also to see everything that's coming. Well, I feel like the thing about Disney films, and this has always been the case, they are always timeless, they are always universal. There's always some point in every Disney film where I ugly cry, and <laughs> something that, and I usually then ugly cry later when I think back to that, whatever that moment was. There's always some lesson I learned that makes life better, and I feel like all of us who appreciate this kind of filmmaking, like we really, there's, there's a lot that we actually have in common. And um, there's, an, there's an optimism, um, there's a, yeah, there's just a real optimism to Disney fans, and I love living in that space. It's been a number of years since Zootopia 1 came out, and though this has been in the works for, I want to say, seven years at this point, this is the first time that we've actually been able to talk about it. Um, and so to be able to share that, you know, Nick and Judy are, are going to go on new adventures and new places with new characters is just, it's, it's, I feel like it's a gift for me as much as it's a gift to share it.